Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim, coming to you from Love's Truck Stop, my favorite place in the world. Man, I'm stealing gas today. $2.99, I get 10 cents off a gallon uh, by putting in my special codes that I have because I downloaded the app. $2.89 a gallon for my hog. We're doing great. Let me show you something. You ever seen a Goodyear Endurance tires? That's what they look like. These are great tires. If you get a trailer, or if you have one now, make sure you, uh, you have these put on because if you travel, those are the best tires you can have. They're really nice tires. So everything's going good with the old Flagstaff here. She's for sale. Somebody asked me on comments, and said, it sounds like you're selling it. Hey, you know, everything's for sale. Once I get back to Florida and get in my condo, villa, apartment, tent, whatever I live in, it is for sale. I don't need it because here's why. I don't want this anymore. You know why I don't want it? Because if you have to drag it, I'm embarrassed, folks. I'm embarrassed of the roads out there on the interstates, the highways, the side roads, the byways, every road in this country, with the exception of a, a mile or two of beautiful stretch. Tammy's got a migraine from jarring her head. My fillings are coming loose. I, this is why these RVs are tearing up when people travel with them. This one's a good one. The only thing that happened was my door, of which I could have shimmed and kept it, but everything else seems to be holding out fine. But folks, those roads are the worst. And I would just as soon not go anywhere. I'll fly somewhere and get a room. I'll take cruises. I don't need to travel this country anymore. I'm not interested in it. And it's not the fact that it's a problem driving or anything. When you're on those smooth roads, there's nothing nicer. I got a half ton truck. I don't have a diesel. There's nothing nicer. It's a Toyota. And the gas mileage, hey, it is what it is. But at $289 a gallon, you know, it's not as painful as it is when you're paying $350, $450, and $5 a gallon. So my dollar cost average is coming down. But yeah, it's for sale. Uh, I probably want to take like 50 grand for it. Make an offer. It's a 2024. Uh, hit me up in my email. And uh, you too can own this. And you can get out and travel around the country and get beat up. I mean, man, I would just buy it and live in it. I wouldn't travel with it. I'm never going to take a cross-country trip pulling a trailer again. And it isn't because I'm staying in motels. It's because it's dumb. It's dumb. The roads are dumb. The people that run this country aren't spending a penny on the highways or bridges. I'm, folks, you think I'm exaggerating? We just went over the last 100 miles dangerous. I thought the thing was going to come off the hitch. I thought that uh, we were going to bounce out of our seat belts. I thought the tires were going to blow. I mean, if it wasn't for those Goodyear Endurance tires, they probably would have. It's absolutely part of it is because of these big trucks out here. They hit these, they ride in that slow lane and they cause a lot of uh, the, the asphalt to peel up. And then the weather, I don't know what does it. Heavyweight trucks, bad weather, rain, everything. But it is absolutely pathetic. I mean, if you have a Cadillac or you're driving in a car and you hit those roads and it can absorb it a little bit better, I mean, it's bad enough like that, but it's, it's a way better. But you go pulling something like this, like 8,000 pounds behind you, and it's jerking the bumper off the back of your car, and it's bouncing, and then you've got this bouncing and that bouncing, and you've got this. It's, it's horrible. It's the worst experience you could ever, ever imagine as far as vacationing and traveling. So, yeah, when I get to a place, I don't even want to look at it. I'll just get a hotel. But when I live in it, right there, that's a mansion. That's the best floor plan. That's the best camper, the best looking camper, the best everything camper. And for short hauls or when there's no bumps, it's the best towing camper because it's got Dexter axles and Goodyear Endurance tires. But if you want to think you can go from point A, Florida, to point B, California, you got another thought coming, folks. I mean, it's absolutely pathetic and embarrassing that we have the money that we have, the most popular country on the face of the earth, support wars, 
buy million dollar bullets and do all these things and we can't put some tar down we can't fill a pothole i'm infuriated by it crush it